I'm Christian Molesic, Executive Officer of the HBA of Berks County, Pennsylvania. And I'm not an attorney. I am an MBA. We're going to translate the lofty ivory tower language of the attorney into thingamajig, how you doing, and whatchamacallit, so that the average Joe and Jane contractor can apply it to their business today. Although this is based on Pennsylvania law, it will apply in most other states as well. A contract cannot be one-sided. Most people don't realize that contracts are fully negotiable. Those of us that are trade contractors think that we have to accept the contract that's given to us by the general contractor, by the home builder, by the landlord, by the vendor. No, all contracts are negotiable. Now, are you in a situation where they're the only game in town and if you don't buy the glass from them, there's nobody else to buy it from? Well, maybe back in the day you were in a bind. Today you have the internet. Today you have you know, shipping that, that uh, is better than it's ever been in the history of the world. So you may be able to buy it from the town or the city or the state or the country uh, next door. Uh, that would be your choice. You do not have to agree with the contractual terms that are presented to you by the presenter. So whoever originally wrote them, contracts are supposed to be negotiated. That's what consideration is important about. to note. We talked about that a contract can be uh, negotiated and you're encouraged to negotiate. You're encouraged to cross things out and to put your initials by it. Obviously, the other party would have to do that. Logistically, I recommend you don't just start crossing things out and sending it back to whoever the other party is, but you call them and you go, hey, you want to talk about the contract? Is now a good time? Yeah, let me get it. Uh, can you turn to section six? Uh, you're asking for 100 here. Uh, can we change that to 106? That would make more sense to me. Or you're looking for a, a start date of uh, such and such a day. How about if we move, we, we, had st we had planned on starting on such and such a day because, can you mind if I cross that out? Uh, one of the ones that gets changed quite a bit is uh, you had asked for uh, an umbrella, umbrella insurance, especially if you're in the commercial, uh, an umbrella insurance policy of $10 million. That would be over and above the $1 million that I'm already carrying. And this project is only 50 bucks or $5,000 or 500,000, whatever it is. Um, uh, now I understand that I'm affecting the whole building and if I cause damage or a fire that it burns down the whole structure, but I think we could build that structure for, from scratch for 800,000. Can we reduce the umbrella liability insurance to a million? Or you say, I'd be happy to provide the 10 million. I've talked to my um, insurance agent and it would be an extra $750 per million that you want. Right now we already carry 1 million, so I'd be happy to reduce the line item on that to 1 million of umbrella. Or if you want to keep it 10, we'd have to adjust the terms at the front end to say we're going to raise it by $750 or whatever your insurance agent says the price is per million of umbrella. Uh, that's the one that I actually see negotiated most contracts, al almost every contract. Because you see that the GC wants you to have as much insurance as you possibly can, right? Because what they're going to do is they're going to indemnify themselves, and we'll talk about what that means. In other words, they're going to put all the blame on you. Everything rolls downhill, right? So you're responsible. Whoever's the lowest person on the totem pole, they're the ones where everything rolls to.